All right, this is going to be a quick overview of what happens when you drop, or at least what happened when I dropped my Sony 24 uh, 70 to 200 lens onto concrete from five feet up off of a monopod. Uh, short, short to get straight to the point. The uh, the lens actually doesn't it doesn't function anymore. Um, we do have insurance and we are going to take this thing in. We just haven't done it yet, but let me explain before before I get into the, like the functions and what this thing actually does or doesn't do anymore. Uh, let me explain how I actually dropped this thing off of, uh, of a monopod. It literally hit concrete during a wedding. The whole fiasco happened about, uh, happened a couple months ago and we just haven't had time to get this thing fixed. But the monopod that it came off of was actually this guy right here um i don't it's, i've never used this brand before we just found this on amazon and it seemed like it was pretty decent but uh what's weird to me is the way that it fell off so if you look there's this locking lever right here but in addition to that there's also a button like to help prevent it from sliding off but if you look if it's like too far forward i'm pretty sure this is what happened but if it's pretty if it's too far forward then it doesn't matter this like if this isn't it just did it right there if this isn't engaged but this is too far forward the button actually doesn't lock down versus like if it's like pulled all the way back then this button actually does what it's supposed to do but i'm pretty sure it was like that and it just slipped and fell off of off of this guy which is a major bummer because i mean it literally like the camera literally took a nosedive and landed on the lens like face down like that um onto onto the concrete now this is probably one of my favorite lenses because i mean if if you're if you ever shot anything with a 70 to 200 or ever, ever used one then you know what i'm talking about there's just there's so there's the way that this compresses the image it's just really really good it's really famous for doing a very good job um, with like portraits or just any any kind of photography. It does a really good job of getting you a rock solid image, which is why I really liked it. But when you uh, when you drop it, it doesn't really, well, it doesn't really work all that all that well anymore. The, the butt end of the actual lens is actually fine. Like if you look, it doesn't, it's not, it's not like scuffed up or anything. And that's because it literally didn't land on the camera at all. It literally, all the lens, the front of the lens took the entire brunt of the fall um, and my A7S III was just totally fine. If you flip the lens around, then you start to see some of the scarring like right here. Um, and then, oh, let me zoom this out. If you look, this actually isn't a perfect circle anymore. Like if you look at the, look at the lens, it's not exactly a perfect circle and then even right here you can tell like this is like dented right here and because of that it causes the zoom lens to not really like it doesn't really like rotate the way it should and then when i mounted this on a camera it just gave me a black image it didn't give me uh any picture whatsoever like it wasn't blurry or anything it was just zero no no image whatsoever the thing that's crazy to me is that there's no like the lens didn't crack at all and i mean when i tell you like this literally hit concrete from five feet up like this lens like this part right here made contact before anything else and it seems to be like minus the dent the lens is like totally i mean as far as the hardware it seems like the lens is totally fine if for some reason it's not working um we did send pictures to Sony and they gave us like a quote and they said that the, the fee to repair it was only going to be like $50. Now, I don't know if the pictures we took did it justice because literally this is supposed to be like a, a circle and this is more like an oval now. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if like the major, if the body like just needs to be replaced because like the, there's major structural damage or if it's really that simple that it's going to be like a $50 fix. That would be great. Um... But I mean, even if we had insurance covered, so I mean, I'm not too worried about it. I just, we need to get, like, actually get it to the post office and, and ship it off. But all that to be said, um, there's a reason, like, when you buy lenses and, like, when you buy, like, G Masters or L Series lenses, they're significantly more expensive. But one of the reasons I feel like they're more expensive is because they're more robust. Like, they're more geared towards professional photographers. And when you do this for, for when you do stuff like this for a job, um, 
typically you're going to be using your gear more and you're going to really be a lot harder on your gear and accidents like this are going to happen. This isn't the only lens that I've dropped. I've actually dropped a 12 to 24 um, before. Uh, this 16 to 35 actually hasn't been dropped, but it's been used a lot um, and it's been great. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at with um, buying like G Master lenses, they're, yes, they're more expensive. Yes, it's like a lot of times it's like twice the price, but the build quality for the most part is um, is really, really solid. Like, like I said, like I don't know how many other lenses uh, would be able to take a, a blow like this. And also like this is like not a not a light lens like this combined with the Sony a7S III. That's a couple of pounds just headed straight to the concrete. And I think any lesser of a lens, at least the glass would have would have broke. Um, and there would be a lot more damage to the camera. I, I'm, I'm shocked that the mount itself wasn't broken or dented whatsoever. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, for a five for a five uh, foot fall onto concrete, I would as I was expecting this to be a lot, a lot worse. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you have a G Master lens, or you're thinking about getting a G Master lens, or a, like an L series lens, or, or whatever. I would highly recommend it um, if you're using this stuff a lot. Like I use my camera almost every single day. And because of that, the added price of buying the Sony like professional, professional series lens, it's just worth it to me because I know with that, I'm getting a build quality that's superior and is going to be able to, to handle some of my human errors of like dropping it or scuffing it up or bumping it or whatever may happen to to the camera. I think cameras are tools and um, obviously I want to take care of it, but I'm not going to like baby it and worry about it if that means I'm not going to get, not going to get a shot. Yeah, all that to be said, we need to fix this, but um, yeah. A little funny thing, when I dropped this, uh, um, if you've ever dropped a lens, you'll probably be able to relate, relate to this. It, when I dropped this, I had like a moment of like freak out and the DJ was actually, it happened right next to the DJ booth and the DJ came over to me and like wanted to like have a full on conversation, exp like trying to figure out what happened. And I, I just, I looked at him and I said, uh, I'm not trying to be rude, but I just, I need a minute to, to check this out. Um, and because internally I was having like a freak out moment and I just wanted to go into a hole and cry because I had just dropped a couple thousand dollars on to the concrete and I still had a, a wedding to shoot. Um, now we had like backup cameras and everything else, but this is all by far my favorite camera and this is my favorite lens. Uh, but, um, yeah, the DJ just wanted to come over and see what happened, which I would want to also, but I kind of had to let him know, like, hey, let me let me cry for a sec, and then I'll I'll come back and explain to you what happened. All that to be said, uh, yeah, we need to get this fixed. But um, if you're looking at getting a G Master lens, I I recommend it. They're they're pretty tough. One thing that I do don't that I don't like. Um, because we've actually had to go through the warranty through with Canon as well as Sony. Canon's infrastructure for repairing is a lot easier. Um, Sony, at least the the insurance that we have, the approved Sony repair. There's only two in the country, and we have to ship it off. Versus like versus Canon, we we're able to take it to a local shop and get it fixed almost right away. Um, versus this is going to be a couple week process, which is why we still haven't done it yet. It's just um, a small little anecdote. All right. If you like this video, let me know. Um, I'll, I can do more. I, believe me, I have plenty of broken gear. <laughs> if you want me to do more reviews on uh, gear that I've destroyed or broken or dropped, let me know. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.